I'm Kim Castor, your painting instructor. Today we're excited to start another brand new painting. So let's get started. Get your brushes out, your paint, your easel, and this is the one we're going to do today. So let's sit down, relax, and have fun doing it. Welcome to Kim Castor Art. I'm kind of down here, awkward here, because I've changed camera positions, I'm trying to improve some lighting, and I went to my big easel. So we're going to be painting another winter scene here with some mountains. But we're only using three colors. We're using Prussian blue, a lizard crimson, and white. I've already done the uh, magic white on the canvas and we're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to first start out with a very light amount of so we need some white and a tiny little bit of a lizard crimson. Just a little bit, mostly all white. Just going to tint it a little bit with a lizard crimson. And I'm going to take a big old two inch brush I'm going to tap right into it. And then I'm going to go ahead and right here behind where the mountains are going to be, I want to just kind of tint a little bit of crimson in here. Just tint a little bit. Just a little. Just to give it that nice pretty glow. And since we're going to be coming down here a little bit, we'll probably put a little bit down here too. But we're going to have snow down here so it doesn't really matter. Then I'm actually going to wash my brush though real quick because I don't want this crimson in with the blue. So we'll do it the old Bob Ross way and we'll do it real quick. And you're the only one that can do that. And we'll just take some Prussian blue, tap right into it, and we'll just start up the top. Very gently, right across the top. Just like so. Gonna come right up to that crimson. Get right up in there. My easel's kind of holding it up the corner. I'll we'll have to fix that a little bit later on, probably. And we're gonna come all the way down. That it could have been a little bit lighter. Probably should have went a little bit lighter than that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put some right across the bottom here a little bit. All the way up to that point. Want a little bit of that blue down here too. We'll be going over that with some white, but blue makes that nice cold color that we'll be looking for. Just like so. In fact, I'm going to wash this brush again because I think I might actually add a little bit of white to that because I kind of like it a little bit lighter. No problem. I'm going to just grab some of this white and I'm just going to put it right in here with the blue. Just to lighten it up a little bit more. And you'll see why in a minute why I'm doing this because I need that darker blue for the mountains. So I think I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Little X patterns is all you really need. You could just add some white to it to begin with if you've watched this a little bit before you started. Make it a little bit lighter blue. So there's not so much paint down here, so it won't be so bad. And this is not really all that important. I'm just putting paint here. We're going to be going over all of that anyway, so it really won't make much difference. Just want to get some paint on the canvas. That's all we're doing. Okay. Then we'll just take our we can just keep that brush right out for now. Get a clean, dry brush. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just soften the sky. But we'll start in the middle here a little bit. Kind of work our way out a little bit. We don't want to contaminate that 
I lives in crimson very much. Because it will, it will turn into another color. We don't want it. And see, I've already got some in the middle there. But get a little bit in there, it really won't hurt that much. Go nice and gently with it. Just soften that sky up really good. Like so. Just want it to be nice and soft. Just like so. Okay. We'll wash that brush. We're going to need it. Pretty soon. Well, unfortunately, I've only got two of these big ones at the moment. Okay. Ended up giving some away to a couple of my relatives not too long ago. And that's what happens. You need to give them away. So, now we're going to go ahead and grab our knife. And we're going to take some, a nice roll of Prussian blue. Spread it out. Get a nice roll. And we're going to look for where we want to put the mountains. I mean, this, this one mountain, we're going to bring it right up here, right up close to the top. Right up close to the sky. Just like so. I'm going to come out right here. Maybe a little, bump down a little bit right there. Maybe we'll have another little one right here. Little fella there. Like so. And we'll probably bring another one over there. Get some more pink. Maybe not quite as high as the other one. We'll bring it right over this way. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's nothing perfect about it. We'll just bring it here where we want it. This one here will probably bring it out a little bit more. Push that paint right into the canvas. Maybe another one here. And we're only going to end up with probably just a little bit of that crimson in the background. We're going to bring that about right here. And then I think we're going to take and build another little mountain, probably about halfway right about here. Some more paint. And this one we're just going to bring about right here. We'll clean that up with a with a brush for no problem whatsoever. And probably come down here just a little bit. Right about there. And we'll put some more paint right in here. And we'll darken this up a little bit. And we'll just put some right in here. Grab some paint off the rest of it and put it right in there. More paint. Now you're going to be covering up most of that. Just want to make sure we get some good colors in there. Good amount of color. Here. And some more right here. I want some of them dark spots in there for the rocks and everything to show up real well. We're going to be actually coming down quite a ways with all this. So, I want to make sure we got plenty of color here. color in, that's all I'm doing. Bring some plain color, about like so. Okay, now you can just get all the excess off. 
like we normally do. Scrape it right off. Like so. Wipe off your old brush, I mean your old knife. And we'll just take this dirty brush we already had here and we'll start right here. Just grab it to the top and pull it on down. Just like so. And this here, we're going to bring it down this way. I'm just kind of meeting it there. And this one here is going to be coming down right on top. So, bring this one the other way. Let's just start over here first. Bring this one down. Like so. Let this one will come down right there. This one above it. Like so. And this one's going to be coming around this way eventually. Not like so. We'll just bring that down around there. Just like so. Alright, now. Go ahead and wash your brush. Alright, let's take this white paint and we'll take this got a little tiny little bit of blue in it. Just a tiny little bit. We use quite a pile of that, but it's just got a light tint of blue. Very, very, very light. Just enough you can tell it's not pure white. Okay, then we'll start here. And we'll just take and we'll come at the top and pull it down. Like so. more here and then we'll come from this one we're going to really bring this one down quite a bit make it look a valley in here like so a little bit more here like so and coming down from this other one this one we're going to make a little bit different there's more paint here we'll just go ahead and Grab another one right there, like there's a little mountain right there, kind of. Like so. Let's go ahead and um, bring this one down probably a little bit more here. So, we've got to get this little guy up here, just a little bit right there, and we'll pull some across the top of this one, easy now, wipe my knife off, I get a little bit too much blue in there. I want to kind of uh, 
I'm going to join a couple of these up, I think. We're just going to bring them right about this way. Like that. there. Okay, for the other side we'll use a little bit more blue in with the white. Give it that shadow color. Wipe the old knife off. Get your little roll of paint. And a little bit darker, vary that a little bit. Right in here. This one's off just a little bit darker. A little bit darker in here also. There we go. Darker up here. Yeah, maybe we'll put a little bit of that darker here. Right there. And we'll put a little bit of darker stuff up in here too. It looks like an avalanche or something. We're going to miss a lot of that, so we could put just a tiny bit more over here, maybe. Like so. Over there. Then you can touch up a little bit of your white if you need to. See any spots that you think it looks a little bit odd or weird or whatever. Just add a little bit more white to it. Just like that. Maybe you want to get a little bit more highlight in here. Wipe your knife off if you get dirty. Maybe this a little bit whiter. Probably pretty good about right here. So we'll just bring it down. A little bit more white in that area. It's coming down across it. Maybe a little bit of a shadow color. Kind of break this up. Or that way. Just like that. All right. Now, wipe the old knife off, put it down. <clears throat> Next, we're going to get another clean, dry brush. That's why we want it good and dry. And we're going to create the illusion of mist. 
So let's go ahead and just tap it. If you've watched my other videos, you know, you just tap, 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 tap. Tap it up really good. Put some pressure on it. Hit it good. Nice and hard. It's going to hit good and hard right there. Yeah. Now, if you're not getting a good mist, you can add some white to your brush. And that will actually help it make it a lot more mistier. So wipe your brush off really good. Grab a little bit of white. And you can take, just tap that white in. Here and there. And then just mist it with that. Just like that. You can see the difference right there. Add that white in there. Just gonna mist it right up. All the way across, right over to here. Get loose paint off your brush, and just very lightly, so right up with the lay of the land, very lightly, very lightly, very lightly, gently, very very gently. If it's moving too much, then you know you're you're not quite soft enough. Got to hit a little bit easier. Nice and soft, just like that. Nice and soft. All right. Now, we got this nice and misty down here, which is what we want. So I think we're going to take a little bit of this lighter blue. Maybe we'll add a little bit of blue to it. What I want to do is make just a little bit of a land space here. <laughs> but very very little I don't want to I just it's actually going to be a bit misty by the time we're done with it so we're just going to kind of give it the idea of a, a little bit of a focal point for us to know where the land's going to be it's going to be about right in here and we don't have to go too far with it wash your brush off again And what we're going to do is we're going to do Okay, we need a fan brush for that. And we're going to take the fan brush and we're going to just go right into the Prussian blue. We're just going to put a nice bit of of paint on, them, on that brush. Get it good and straight. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap it some, some pine trees here. We'll just tap them in. Don't want them all the same color. Just like so. And a tall one every once in a while. Don't want them all the same height. Not like so. Get plenty of paint. Want to be dark enough in there. Until they're there. Some are shorter, some are taller. About like so. About like that. Okay. Now, wash your brush. And get it good and dry. Heating it before long. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to take and go ahead and very gently lift up. Just touch and lift up. Touch them and lift them up. Just like that. Give the illusion of them trees. Kind of help pull them together a little bit. Right there. Touch them and lift up. Just like so. And then we're going to do the same thing coming down because we're going to have some water in here so let's just do the same thing about halfway pull them down you can push them in pretty good just pull it down like so 
create that. You don't want to pull all the way down. Just down to the waist and come across. Just like so. Give it that illusion of water. Right there. Okay. Now we'll go ahead now and take our fan brush, I mean our knife, and we'll take a little bit of this white. It's got a little bit of that blue in it, it won't hurt, just a little bit, but we'll go ahead and put some lines over in there where the water is. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to start right in this area about here, and we're just going to kind of We're going to make it a little bit rougher, but not all the way across, but we're going to make it look like it's going to be coming out in this area right here. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. Just like there's uh, snow right there. Don't wait so. And we can come across <coughs> the rest of the way here. There's just snow coming right off the bankings. Just like so. Just like that. A little bit more snow maybe. Not like so. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and get some more of this blue. I think I'm just going to use a small brush for the moment. I'm going to go right into the blue. We'll blow it up really good. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a an area right here for the trees to go right here. So we want it to be pretty dark. So we're going to put it in pretty dark. Right in here like so. I'm not going to go too far with it. Just about here like so. That's good. Get some more paint. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Very gently, we're going to pop them right in here. And don't worry about coming over the top of this stuff right here. It doesn't matter. That's what we want to do anyway. We want to actually cover this. I don't want a lot of water to show right there. And this is going to actually going to end up coming about down in here somewhere. Not like so. Go ahead and put a little bit more here. A little more there. Okay. Can't just wash that brush. Get a out of that. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put some trees in. And we'll start with the fan brush. <clears throat> now load it up really good. Lots of paint on that brush. Just kind of wiggle it. <clears throat> Excuse me. First tree we're going to have here is going to be about right here because I don't want it to be too awful tall. Probably going to be about right here. Not right there. And then we'll start. This is going to be a really a skimpy looking little pine tree. Not like so. It's not all that healthy. It's just kind of a starving the winter away. And then we're going to go ahead right beside him. We're going to come all the way up to the very top. Way up to the top. All the way down. Just like so. You want to start with that. This one's a little bit healthier. This one's a little bit healthier. We need some more paint.
that paint ain't sticking, you may need to actually put a little bit of thinner in there. And thin that paint a little bit. It may not be sticking quite as well as it needs to. Add a little thinner to it. Make all the difference in the world. All the way down about like so. We'll go ahead and grab some more. And we're going to have another one right beside that one. It's going to come down about right here. Just like so. And we'll start at the top. See a branch you don't like, just do it again. We're going to be doing some highlights on these anyway, so it's not going to matter a whole lot. And we'll take some more paint. We'll get a little bit more thinner. Just a touch, not very much, just, just a touch. Okay, then we're going to have another little small one right about here. Let's go loose here. Right about here. Little guy. Just start him off. About like so. Okay. And we're going to have a couple more here. There we go. Quite as high, but about right there. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll have another one probably about right here. Could put more. This, the original one I did here was on a bigger canvas, so I was able to put a lot more trees in this. But that's okay. We'll make do with what we got here. The original one was a 18 by 24. Big difference in the width. Cover that up real good. And then just tap it in. Nice and dark. Alright, now get a little more fun. Put some on the other side. Okay, the first one we're going to do is going to be about right about here. So we're going to make sure this is a, got a good clean edge on it. This is going to be going right up into this mountain right here. So we want it to come down somewhere about right here. Out there. So, and we're going to have a little friend right behind him. Not quite as tall as him, but he's going to be right there. About right there. Okay, and then we'll come back over here. We have one all by his lonesome right here. This little guy, all by himself. Probably all lonely out there, all by himself. But that's where he is. More paint. Then we're gonna have another bigger one right about here. He's gonna come all the way up to about right here. And get a little bit more paint on the brush here. That white paint's just really really have it with me right there. And we'll just go ahead and tap him in. If you need some more, a little bit more thickness on that paint. Kind of thin there evidently. I almost put thinner in it though. We don't want thinner in it. We want it to be thicker. There's a big old tree here. There we 
go. Okay, he's actually going to come in down a little bit further than the other one. Right about here. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a little bit of white and we'll get some of that blue. We need to mix some highlights for these trees. So we'll just make a light blue again. More blue, some more white. Big old pile of it. Get the old knife off. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash the brush this time because I don't really want all that dark in there. I want to make sure it's good and light. But I am going to take and dry my brush off a little bit here. I'm gonna dip it in the magic white. I'm actually going to mix some of that right into the mixture I just made for the highlight. Okay, now we'll, we'll just take our highlight and we'll just kind of tap it in. Be a little bit uh, watchful of where you're putting them. Make sure you're coming up on the top of your leaves, you're helping your trees. This one's behind that one, so we better get this one some more first. A little bit here and there, wherever. Get a little bit of white in there. Don't really want to be that white. And we're coming back over to this one. We'll go over the top of that one. In fact, we need to hit this one too, real quick. little guy right here. And some up in here. I'm trying to get sideways so y'all can see. Y'all? <laughs> A southern, southerner's got to do that y'all thing, you know. A little bit right here. All right, then we'll get the other side. Same thing, same process, just here and there. The highlights really make it. That's what makes them trees stand out really well. All them highlights. One more paint. You notice I did not put any um, tree trunks in this time on purpose. You really just can't see them. So we'll go ahead and wash our brush. Okay, I moved the camera just for a minute so you guys can get a lot better shot of a straight on shot of where I'm, I'm at at the moment. So. If you're paying along with me, you'll get a little better idea of what's going on. Okay, we'll continue here, and uh, let me shut this off, and I'll turn it back on. All right. First thing I want to do is I want to pull some of this blue paint down. We need a paint brush. What do I do with it? Here it is. So I'm thinking we're going to have some bushes in here, so we need to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and pull some some of the foundation for the snow right across here. About like so. About like so. I'm going to pull it down from here, right into there. About like that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pull this shadow down here. I want it to be a little bit darker in that shadow. And maybe I'll pull some down here too a little bit. Just a little. And uh, probably over here too we'll pull some down a little bit. I want to get some of that paint off there on purpose. I don't want it all there. Wash my brush. Okay, we'll get it good and dry. Now I want to take my my rounder 
one inch brush here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come through the paint. And we're going to go ahead and put some something for the bushes to go on. Load it up with paint really good. And so we're going to have some bushes probably about right here. And we probably got enough paint here already, but we're gonna, we need to get, to get some, make sure it's good and dark. And we'll put a little bit right here and maybe over here. About right there. And we'll get some, we're going to do some on the other side. We're going to have some bush right here. Need some more paint for that. Bush here. Not like so. Maybe a little bush right here. And probably some bushes up in here. And we'll put some right in this area right here. About right there. A little bit more paint. Not like so. Okay, and I know this is a pain, but we gotta wash the brush again. Then we're gonna go to the white paint, so we're gonna actually add some magic white to that white. So we're dipping in some magic white. And we'll just work it in with this white, titanium white. And we'll pull it like we did before. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make some bushes here. So let's start at the top, like so. And we'll come with a little small bush there and a big bush here. That's not as white as I want it to be, that's for sure. There we go. A little better. Okay. We'll probably have to come back in with the magic white by itself and hit it again. Make sure that's good and dry. And that might have been part of my problem. It should have been, it should have come off white. Let's go on this side. I'm going to try it over here. There we go. That's better. Push it there. Push it there. Not like so. Still not quite happy with them, but we'll do the best we can. A bit lighter on them, maybe. Like so. Paint. Got paint right on it. Pretty thick paint right there. I have a lot of trouble with that, most likely. Let's go easy with it. We'll have to add some more to it here, let it dry a little bit, see what happens. There's other ways to skin the cat, as I said. I'm not going to go too much more than that because I don't think I'm going to get much further with it. It's pretty wet. When it's wet like that, just leave it alone. So you get to see my mistakes too. I would probably wait until that dried some, then I'd probably hit it again. 
Okay, now we want to go ahead and start bringing in uh, some water. And that water we're going to make a little bit darker than what that background was for up in the snow up here. We'll make it a little bit darker. we we'll use a fan brush for that. And we're going to start that gravy just about right in this area here. And we're going to start really small. About like this. We'll come over here a little bit like this. We're going to have some water here. So that's basically what this is going to be is some water. We're going to kind of work our way back this way. All the way back over to here. All the way down to the bottom. Work that way in there. Walk it right over here. About like so. All right. Okay. Now what we need to do is add some snow. So we'll dry our brush off real good. And we'll get some more white. I'm out of white. Clean off a spot here. Some white there. Alright. We'll put a little bit of magic white in with the white again. Load your brush up really good. Wiggle that brush really good. Let it stick real good. Okay. Now we'll first we'll just start. We'll come in about right to here. And we'll just start coming in down this way. About like so. And we'll go ahead and just keep coming in. We'll come right up to where these bushes are. So, we got all this blue that's coming in here. We'll have to fix that probably. Wipe your brush off at least before you grab any more paint. Then we'll go ahead and we'll grab some more white. Bring it down. Very gently. Right across the top. Just like so. The other side, we'll do the same thing. This one here, we're going to start back here, all the way down to here. here. Nice white right there. Yeah. 
on the show. We got this is what happens when when you get too much paint in. And I really have too much paint on here. I'm still, I shouldn't I'm, I'm fighting a dead horse right now. So let it dry. My recommendation to you all if you do this picture. Let it dry some for a couple weeks or so. Come back and hit it with white again. By then it should be dry enough that you can hit it again without worrying about doing anything bad to it. Go right over the top of this right here. Like so. And the last step right here will be we'll use the fan brush right in the middle there again. Very gently. We'll clean that up. So I'm just taking this little fan brush and we'll just kind of wiggle it back and forth like this. You decide where you want your little indentions to be. Kind of clean up them edges really good. Just push it right in there. It's nice color. Clean them edges up real nice. Give it that icy look. Is what we're looking for. Kind of an icy look. That's all we're doing. Give it a little bit of an icy look. Not like so. Mist that up a little bit right there with some of that white. Not like so. Yeah, we'll call that a completed painting. Just uh, sign it up real good and be proud of it. And like I said, if you want to make that whiter, that snow whiter, just go back to it later on. And you could actually done that with a knife probably. I'll probably throw it with a knife and get it a little bit more snow on you. I will leave that for you to do yourself. So anyway, have a good day and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you comment, share, subscribe, and definitely if you have any questions, ask me the questions right here and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.